everybody back with a new episode of Babylon 5. Last episode, the crew has staved off the takeover by uh, the Ministry of Peace, the Night Watch. It, it was a close one there. Um, the, um, the political office is not making the rules. So until they get official orders to enact martial law, I think we're okay for now, but you know, putting all of our hope into Haig figuring it out when he's like in a really bad situation and uh, you know, just uh, earth and the humans are just, everything is really bad right now. Um, but you know, from what everyone's saying, the, the humans are going to be the key to getting through all of this, but that's hard to see with where everything currently is. Um, <sighs> the stuff with Londo was really interesting. I, I, I'm really keen to see what his actions are going to be going forward, knowing what he knows now, like he is definitely going to be emperor. <laughs> Veer is going to be emperor. Um, but is redemption going to be his motivation going forward? Are they going to let Jakar join in the little war council? He came through with the Nar. Now the Nar are like running security and, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm nervous about all of it. Everything is so like one wrong, wrong step could, I mean, this could just end like they were talking about at the end of the last episode. Like this is how it ends. It can't end this way. I, I hope it's not going to be that dark. Um, but I can't really say that that's not what we're possibly getting at. I hope not, but the next episode called Severed Dreams, that doesn't make me feel any better than the last episode title, <laughs> Whose Dreams Will Be Severed. Everything is at such a delicate point right now one false step i'm telling you everybody's gotta be on their p's and q's and uh yeah i'm excited to get back into it um so here we go step aside ambassador this shouldn't take more than oh two or three standard hours inconvenience him madness total <laughs> and complete madness this never would have happened if the humans hadn't started fighting with one another Oh, it's uh, ongoing, is it? Is this Hague? Clark's down destroyed, Matrix. Reloading fighters as fast as we can. That's what makes this war different from anything we've ever gone through before. This time, we know everyone we kill. Yeah, it's a civil war, I guess. I'll try to find something to say to both of their wives, God knows what. There's only one place safe for us. Set course for Babylon 5. Okay. As soon as they come through the gate, somebody's gonna send word back home. Once that happens, I know. Well, we so have to help them. Off switch in the comm system. The second they get here, shut everything down. Just leave us a private channel in case we need it, and the ISN feed. Security is very tight, and the NARS at all of the customs areas. How do we know which of them we can trust? You don't, but I do. Yeah. That's the other NARS. Xavier Montoya, head of the Mars Provisional Government, announced today that he will not implement the martial law order given five days ago by President Clark. Good. So far, Earth Dome has had no official response to this act of open defiance by Mars. As much as our humanity got us into this, our humanity is the only thing that's going to get us out again. He's on his uh, Lincoln tip. They have made alliances with many in the non-aligned worlds. Uh, I urge them to go to war with their neighbors. Why would they go along with this? They listen to the shadows out of fear. 
Has the Great Council been informed? The Great Council has said the problems of others are not our concern. It's gonna be, it's everyone's concern. General Haig was killed in our last firefight. No! We were coming back from a meeting with some officials on Orion 7 when we were ambushed. How are the folks back home dealing with all this? That's the irony. Most of them have welcomed martial law. It's cut crime down to nothing. Oh my God. On the surface, it's peaceful. Yeah, the piece of the gun. Why haven't we seen any of this on ISN? ISN is walking a fine line. They know if they push too far, they'll be shut down. They're bombing Mars. Bombing Mars! Oh my God. What do we do? More lines. Help us. You're gonna go talk some sense into the Great Council? Be careful. The Great Council is not what it was. They I know. If they will see you at all. They will see me, whether they like it or not. Jakar, thank you for your help. I think you are no longer quite the same person I met when I came here four years ago. He's not. And we love to see it. The colonies at Orion 7 and Proxima 3 have just broken away from the Earth Alliance in protest over the bombing of Mars. They're Good. setting themselves up as independent states until such time as President Clark is impeached. Rick, don't do this. Clark doesn't want this, do this information released, but we have to go with this now because I don't know how much longer we can stay on the air. I can hear gunfire now up here on the 14th floor. Listen to me. There's information you don't have, but going on for the last year, we haven't been allowed to tell you. Shit. Oh my god. I salute that guy's bravery. Major Ryan, Captain, we just jumped in from Orion 7. They've declared independence. We've heard. The ships receiving the attack order were already on their way here. Oh. He doesn't want to risk Babylon God. 5 breaking away. So those ships are under orders to seize command of Babylon 5. Arrest and detain its captain. It's happening! We could try to jump, maybe draw some of the fire away from Babylon 5, give you a chance to negotiate. No. Too late. Thank you, Major. This is where we make our stand, then. Yeah. This is where we'll do it. Yeah, we gotta do something now. We fight, or we surrender. Right. I say fight. Fight. Mm-hmm. Fight. Fight! Fight. Woo! Let's go. I have an announcement to make. Oh, shit. Get them! I told you to lend, they will not speak to you. In Balin's name, I will tear this ship apart with my bare hands until I find them. Move aside. You heard her. <laughs> yes! If we have abandoned our covenant with Balin, the council should be broken. Whoa! As was prophesied, we move now, together. Not at all. Okay. Yes. Come on. I can't really explain on an open channel, but son, I follow the news. Well, I did until ISN went black. When push comes to shove, you've always done the right thing. What was the first lesson I ever taught you? Never start a fight always finish it mm -hmm. you do what you have to do son don't worry about us his dad is great neighbors around here like us lord knows why so uh, anybody comes for us they're gonna have quite a fight on their hands can we can we hang can we hang with this without any help as of this moment babylon 5 is seceding from the earth alliance we will remain an independent state until President Clark is removed from office. Yes! At the end of this current crisis, anyone who wishes to leave for Earth is free to do so. Well, we're in it now. Yeah. Should we ask Wall to help with the defense? No. No, he's our ace in the hole. I want to keep him a secret as long as we can. Okay. This is our fight, not his. Request permission to join Star Fury Squadron. You want to be denied. out there? You're asking those pilots to go against everything they've been trained for and open fire on our own ships. 
And one of us should be out there with them. One of us has to be. Come on, Eva. Please be careful. Jump gate activated. Here they come. Oh, man. Come on, Captain. You must see these orders are wrong. Come on. Leave while you still can. They've broken contact. Shit. Enemy star fury is moving on attack vector. Why are they orders. taping for President Clark so hard? Babylon control Look what he's done. Fury squadron. Stand by to attack, but do not repeat. Do not initiate combat. Enemy fighters have locked on. Fire. Ah. Well, I guess he didn't come around. Direct hit to decks 14 and 15. Full integrity down, 20%. Bring us in closer to the enemy. How close? Right down there. It's close. <sighs> Take much more. Oof. Oh, no. Don't say that. More coming. You are ordered to surrender and prepare we need to be help. by order of President Clark. Mimari, Mimari, Mimari. This is Ambassador Delano for Mimari. Babylon 5 is under our protection. You really got him to hide tell it out of there? Bye, bitches. You're bonding? When the Churchill was destroyed, we took on as many of her pilots as we could. The launch bays are damaged. We can't hold many more. You could give them a home here and bring your fighter squadrons up to full strength. Okay. I think Captain Hiroshi would have wanted that. I didn't know her very well, but I'd be honored to take care of her crew. We're going to have a problem with sabotage for a while. Yeah. Almost certainly. With your eyes open. It seems that this is the only home we have left. How could I abandon, as you say, my partner? She came through. <gasps> oh! Oh, there you are. Give it to him! Yes! Yeah, that's right. Yes! Okay, well, that was certainly a close one. But uh, Glenn and some of the Great Council, some of the Minbari came through and was the help that we desperately needed. Um, this was, you know, we're, we're not hiding. This isn't a secret anymore. We are officially an independent state. We are um, in open defiance of President Clark. Um, I mean, it was great to see that Mars was as well, even though they got bombed for it. Uh, this is a full-on civil war, and uh, we won this battle, but we know more is to come. Uh, it was great to have the Alexander show up. And uh, what was the other ship that we're taking in? I can't remember that, that name, but... It was enough to hold them off until the Minbari arrived. So uh, we'll take it. And it was great to see that in, in this desperate time that they were willing to go out fighting. Um, that has been a, a big theme here lately. Um, it really harkens on what Jakar was talking about where uh, we, we must be willing to sacrifice each other for each other. And uh, that is what we're doing here. And it's curious to, to note how many of the unaligned worlds are getting behind the shadows out of fear. They think that this will keep them safe. This will keep 
them in peace but this uh, they talked about it here the the piece of a gun this is this is just you're being conquered <laughs> like this is what the centauri are now like their goal is and everyone on that side of it is kind of just they've chosen the wrong side uh and it's really great to see the resistance to that in the people on babylon 5 it's great to see sheridan's leadership everyone backing him because i mean i'm sure there are people on babylon 5 who feel like some of the people in uh in the, in the previous online worlds who were you know just wanting to uh not have any kind of fighting i mean they this is people died a lot of people died and uh this is the sacrifice that you make to keep your freedom and uh that spirit it was so alive in this episode and i, I just i love it it was scary because i was were i was worried about ivanova it, garibaldi got really banged up uh the hull couldn't have taken that much more heat and uh when more ships started coming in i was like oh what what are we doing and i mean i'm glad the lynn acted quickly and i'm glad her speech was rousing enough to get enough to help and uh the minbari's reputation reputation precedes them uh <laughs> she was like think about this <laughs> you all don't do so well against us and uh they recognize that and and skedaddled <laughs> which you know i'm sure they're going to regroup and this is not the end of it but it was great to see the minbari come through for us um this is built off of the relationship that we have built with Dylan and how many people respect her back home enough people that she worked with for a very long time understand what she's saying the minbari have been a part of this fight before and uh for them to check out this time is not It's not up for debate. Like they know the cost. They know how important it is to be on the light side of this. And uh, she she rounded them up and they came through and it's, it's great to see. Um, I love seeing Ivanova, you know, get out there. It's what she wants. And it's great for Sheridan to let her. Um, it's important for morale that they're willing to go out there and fight the fight themselves. And, uh, I mean, I'm glad she's okay. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's okay. But, uh, it was also nice to see them put the, their trust in the Narn. Like Sheridan was saying that Jakar has not, not, he has not, not come through for them ever. Uh, with Delenn saying, you know, he's like a brand new person now, like this, this Jakar is with them a hundred percent. Uh, and it's great for them to note how different he is because he, he's different. And, uh, that change is notable. And it's great to see these, even when you have earth fighting this way, that these other races will, are willing to come together for a, a greater cause. Um, the humanity or the the spirit that they see in themselves it's reflected in in everyone and uh it's it, it's just so fantastic to see the minbari come in and help in this way and the narn you know they could have the narn could have done what a lot of the unaligned nations did and and just kind of let the centauri roll over them and these Narn have not done that and Jakar is a big part of that 
Uh, it's great to see when great leaders are great to their people. I mean, Clark sucks. We barely know him. Only things that we know are like secondhand. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's the the worst type of uh, person in power. And uh, to see these other leaders lead with their hearts and their souls and come together in this way is really beautiful. So I definitely am taking this win. Um, it's not, we haven't won the war, but we definitely won this battle. And it'll be, I mean, ugh, we lost General Haig, which is terrible, uh, but it was great to see his ship following in his footsteps, taking over for him and uh, keep on fighting. And uh, that's what we're all having to do here. And uh, I'm glad that we get to take on these, uh, these other, uh, I wish I could remember the name of that other ship that came in and helped. Um, but uh, we're going to regroup in the same way that the other side is going to too. I just, uh, it's so frustrating when you see this obvious insidious force, like, and these people just falling in line with it, you know, it's so frustrating. But it was like, even to see the guy at ISN say what he could by the very end. And uh, it, it's just great to see people, there are people willing to stand up and do the right thing, even if it costs their lives. So uh, this was a, this was a, an uplifting episode, even though there were many a sacrifice. Um, and it's notable that Sheridan is, doesn't feel like he can put on that jacket um, because even in the triumph of it all, I mean, it's, 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 difficult to really celebrate at all because of those sacrifices. So uh, we live to tell another tale. Uh, hopefully, now that the Minbari have stepped in to help, others may follow suit. Because, you know, the shadows are amassing a lot of uh, people on their side too. So uh, the fight is getting very big and uh, I, I can't wait to see how it's gonna end up. How, I really hope we pull through. But we have, you know, this, this, this is a, an internal battle right now with Earth, but it's gonna get even bigger. Um, I mean, the Vorlons haven't been a part of it yet and the shadows weren't really here and then you got like the first ones to think about and like it's gonna it's gonna keep getting bigger and uh i just hope we can you know persevere <laughs> so we'll see but I, I will take this victory for sure so proud of sheridan so, so proud of ivanova garibaldi <laughs> Dr. Franklin was in it, everybody was in it, and everybody said fight, and that was a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I I'm 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 happy and I'll take I'll take it. So yeah, good episode. Great episode, honestly. The the, the fighting was intense. I was nervous. <laughs> but uh we, we we survived. So yeah, really good. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.